Hello everyone, welcome to my next lesson on practical coastal navigation. First, I need to state my standard disclaimer. These navigation videos are for educational and explanatory purposes only. They are not intended to guarantee your safety on the water. Nothing, including these videos, can take the place of accredited courses from qualified instructors and developing your own navigation skills over time. You are responsible for choosing destinations and cruising areas that are within your own level of experience and ability. Any charts you may see in this video are not for navigation purposes. They may be out of date and they are for explanation purposes only. When you go out on the water, you are enjoying yourself at your own risk. This is my third and last lesson on Canadian aids to navigation. In the last lesson, we looked at light characteristics used for navigation beacons. In this lesson, we'll look at cardinal beacons and special buoys. A cardinal beacon marks the edge of safe water based on the cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west. That is, a cardinal beacon points in the compass cardinal direction towards safe water. So a north cardinal beacon indicates safe water to the north. East, South, and West Cardinal Beacons indicate safe water to the East, South, and West, respectively. Let's look at what they look like and how to identify them. These are the Cardinal Beacons. At first glance, it may seem a little daunting to try to remember all these colors and shapes and light flashing characteristics. But there are some simple rules that will really help you to remember how to identify them. First, the top marks are actually cones, so they look the same from all sides. The two cones on the north cardinal buoy both point up in the direction of north on a chart, and the two cones on the south cardinal buoy both point down in the direction of south on a chart. The cones on a west cardinal buoy point together, and they're reminiscent of a wine glass, so think wine for west. And by default, the two cones on the east cardinal buoy point outwards. The colors of these beacons are yellow and black bands, and their defining characteristic is that the two top cones on each beacon point to where the black color is. So the north cardinal buoy is black over yellow, since both cones point up. The south is yellow over black, since both cones point down. West is yellow black yellow, with both cones pointing towards black color in the center and east is black yellow black with the cones pointing towards the two black colors on the outside. So just remember these two rules to distinguish the cone shapes and the buoy colors. Cardinal beacons may also have a white light to help you identify them at night. The flashing characteristics of these white lights is consistent with the points of a clock. The north cardinal buoy is a quick flashing or very quick flashing white light. That's different from the lights on lateral beacons because it's a white light, it's not red or green. The east cardinal at 3 o'clock is 3 quick flashes every 10 seconds, or 3 very quick flashes every 5 seconds. The south cardinal boy has groups of 6 flashes followed by a long flash. The long flash just makes it easier to distinguish from the 9 flashes of the west cardinal boy, so you don't have to carefully count the flashes to distinguish between south and west cardinal boys. Here are some other buoys. From left to right, the first is an isolated danger buoy. It has two black balls at the top. Its colors are bands of black, red, black. And it may have a flashing white light with groups of two flashes every five or ten seconds. It marks exactly what its name implies, isolated dangers. Then there is a fairway marker. Think of it as a traffic lane marker. Generally keep to the right. It may have a red ball at the top, and its colors are white and red. If it has a light, it'll be a white light flashing a Morse code A, dot dash, or it'll be a long flash every 10 seconds. Here's an example at the north end of Vancouver Island. 
Then there is an ODAS buoy, which stands for Ocean Data Acquisition System. It's a scientific buoy. Its purpose is to collect ocean data, like wave heights, for example. If it has a light, it will be yellow. The last one here is a diving flag, which indicates divers in the area. There's also an alpha flag carried by vessels that are carrying out diving operations. Lastly, let's look at some special buoys, and I'll give you a rule for each to help you remember which is which. Starting from the left and going right, the first buoy is a cautionary buoy, which may have a yellow flashing light. Yellow is cautionary, just like a yellow traffic light. These may permanently or temporarily mark off areas in which you need to exercise caution. For example, they can mark off dredging operations, firing ranges, race courses, or other types of cautionary areas. Next is a buoy that marks off a swimming area. You can also find other swimming buoys of various colors that have been placed privately by people that want to warn boaters about their family swimming areas. And remember, it's illegal to operate dangerously near swimming areas or other small vessels. The next buoy is self-explanatory and marks off an anchorage area. Or you may see a line through the anchor, meaning don't anchor outside a marked off area. Next, a mooring buoy has a ring in the top. It's attached to a chain, so you can hook it with a boat hook, raise it up, and put your bow line through it. Personally, I prefer not to use mooring buoys if I can avoid it, unless you have a way to keep them standing off from your boat overnight, as they may have a tendency to bounce on the hull which can make for a rather unpleasant sleeping experience. Then there is an information buoy. I like to think of it as a text box. It can contain text with relevant information for your area. Then there is a control buoy. I like to think of the circle as the letter O in the word control to remember what kind of buoy this is. You may find a speed limit or a wake limit inside the circle. Then a keep out buoy marks an area to keep out of. The cross can remind you this marks off keep out area. And lastly is a hazard buoy. The hazard buoy is shaped the same as the keep out buoy, except it doesn't have the cross inside the diamond. Okay, that's the end of this lesson. I hope that was all clear. This was my last of three lessons on the Canadian Aids to Navigation.